for the coffee mug I know that we needed 36 stitches and what if I don't want to make a rectangle but I want to use double pointed needles this is for anything that you want to use double pointed needles with and we need 36 stitches and let's cast them on so we need cast on 36 stitches so I make a knot there and I start with one of the needles and 36 divided in 3 is 12 so I'm going to knit 12 here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then I pick up another needle and I am going to knit 12 with the other needle also so let's get this one in the back so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and we leave those there too and we're going to pick up another needle so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now we have 12 in each needle and we are going to make sure that all our stitches are not are nice and straight. So let's put them this way and they are all looking toward the center. So here we are, we have our three needles. Let's put this in the middle so it can show better. And they are all, all my cast-ons are toward the middle. So we're going to get rid of that tail. We, are, we don't want it there. And all our stitches are looking toward the inside of the triangle. We're going to take our fourth needle and this is the first one that I am going to, this, this stitch here was the last one that I knitted. This is the first one that I cast it on and I want to knit around. So this is the way we're going to go. That's our, the third needle that we used. So put all your stitches in the middle of your needles so they don't come out the other side. This is the one that we're going to be knitting next. So I put this one there and these are my next stitches and I start knitting with my other needle. So I have, I go there from this yarn and keep knitting on this one. So I have my 12 stitches there and of course at the beginning you're going to feel like your needles are all over the place but believe me once you have three or four rows this is going to be a piece of cake so the first the cast on and the first two rows are the ones that really the most difficult ones but you know you get used to it so now I knitted the ones on the first needle I take my that extra needle here, bring the next one over and keep knitting these. So that's the yarn that came from the other needle and of course you know you want to not have it wobbly. Let me go and do this one next because the yarn split. There we go. So we do the 12 there. And this is the way you can start 
like hats like from the top of course you have less stitches when you're making hats you have maybe like six and then you the the work of going to have to make a project like yes that. I remember I saw instructions for some shoes like this I yes. think it was the baby shoes yes mm -hmm. yes you can do a lot of things because you don't have circular needles that are this small so that's why you have the double pointed needles so we do the next the next uh, series of uh, needle the next needle the double pointed the next one so you mm. keep using your spare needle to knit yes. the stitch, stitches into yes so you do need four of course there's some sets that come with five and that's nice because you can have larger projects and divide them into more needles but there is our first circular thing that's where my beginning yarn is so let's do another row just to show you how easy this is of course try to keep your yarn nice and taut between one needle and the other one we're going to take that one out of the way because we don't want it there so I'm going to start with my new needle there we go. <laughs> Try not to knit the back needle. But this is very nice, and we do have a video on how to knit, knit uh, a circle uh, with only two needles. And of course.